Good day everyone. Welcome to Learn with MN. In this video, we will discuss the page tool of the Inkscape. The last tool here in the toolbar is the page tool. Page tool is used to create and edit document pages. When you open the page tool, it will show some handles on the selected page. The square handles at each corner are used to resize the page, like this. The other four circle handles are used to set margins for the page. Each circle handle will adjust the margin of its respective side, like this. Let's discuss different options in the control bar. The first option will create a new page on the right side of the existing page, like this. The size of the new page depends upon which size is selected here in the dropdown. You can change the page size to any other from this dropdown list. You can also create a new page by clicking and dragging on canvas, like this. This button is used to change the orientation of the page, like this. To select any other page, simply left-click on it, and it will be selected. You can also select it from the drop-down menu below in the status bar. It has a list of all pages in order. You can move between these pages by using these buttons, or by using this list. Next, this option is for page margins. You can type any custom value here, and it will give equal margins from all sides. To give each side a separate custom margin, click this button. Here, you can give custom margin values for each respective side. You can also give custom bleed value here for the page. Before these options, let's discuss the page label first. This field is used to give a label or name to the selected page. For example, I name page 1 as A, page 2 as B, and page 3 as C. After naming, you can see each page has now its label at the top left corner. And if you see the list below you will also see each page name with its order number. A is 1, B is 2, and C is 3. Now, these two options are used to change the order of the selected page. For example, right now page 3 is selected. If I move it one step back, then in appearance, it is not changed, but in order, it is changed. C has become page 2, and B has become page 3. You can change the order of any page using these options. This option is used to delete the selected page. You can also use the delete key for this purpose. When the cursor is within a page, you can move the page anywhere by clicking and dragging. When you move the page, the objects inside will not move along with it. To move its content also when a page is moved, this option is used. Enable it, and now, when you move the page, its content will also move with it. That was all for this video. If you have any queries, feel free to write in the comments section or contact us on our website, its link is in the description. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon, so you don't miss any updates. Thank you for watching.